Right. Previously, we stopped at um, the calculation of decimal and and do binary, and I showed you really how this calculation works. You have to watch the previous video to understand what's going on here and all the notations and the writing I've done. Okay. So today we're going to look at the hexadecimal numbering system, and now the hexadecimal numbering system um, is different than the others, right? And you really understand how it works when I'll explain it to you next. So if you look at this here, um, we use 10 digits and we use 6 letters. That's what you do in the hexadecimal numbering system. And if you have to remember hex and this, just think of the polygons I showed in the other video. All right. So that, that will obviously make you understand that it's a, it's a 16 digit. And even if you add 10 digits and 6, you will see that it has a 16 value. So if you add this up right till there, how many values do you count? You count 16 because you'll count six letters and you'll count 10 digits numbers, right? Starting from zero. That's also another way to understand hexadecimal. Okay. So if you look at this, you would see that with the hexadecimal, because we don't have um, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, those um, gets, gets converted to, to letters and the letters basically represents the number starting from 10. So in this case here, A would be equal to 10, B would be equal to 11, C would be equal to 12, D would be equal to 13, E will be 14, and F is 15, right? So that is your, 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 your representation of your numbers from 10 to F, right? And it's also called a 16 number system, right? Or base 16, either way you write it. And to make you understand a bit is that each position in the hexadecimal number it represents zero power to the base of 16 as i said in that in that in that part there 16 to the zero and in the last position also in the hexadecimal numbering system represents a power base 16 which is example of this where the x as you can see here represents the last position minus one always minus one um right so the minus one means that you start from zero from the last position, from the right hand side, moving towards your left, you start with 16 to the power of zero. So basically what I'm saying is, you have 16 power of zero, you have 16 power of one, 16 power of two, 16 power of three. But if you look at this year, right, they basically one position, second position, third position, fourth position, right? That's what I'm trying to say, and that's what I mean by the position, minus one. So it's the first position, but it's minus one, zero. Second position, minus one, one. That's what I mean by that, okay? Hope you understand that. So that's really how um, the hexadecimal numbers work, if you have to work it out. Now, there's also calculation, same thing. Um, all thing you need to know is that with the hexadecimal, you're dealing with less numbers, you might just end up with four numbers, because if you look at um, at a um, at a call it a what's the word IP version six, you will understand really how it works. So, for instance, if you look at this here, we have a hexadecimal number nineteen FDE, right? That is your hexadecimal number. Now you have to convert that to decimal, and that would be the answer. Now, how do you think we're getting to the answer? Simple. Well, not simple, but it's you have to remember your, 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 your notations and the location where it's based. And as I said previously, if you look at this, you would draw up your table if you need to have a table. Or you would just do the whole thing and you would say it will always be 16 to the power of 0, 16 to the power of 1, 16 to the power of 2, 16 to the power of 3. And that's obviously your calculation that you have to work out and you have to count the amount of numbers that you need to work out. So in this case here, it's to four. So it's 16 to the power of four because you have one, two, three, four, five, right? So that is the, the, amount, the amount of numbers there. And that's how you work it out. Then if you want to, you can see here in this example here, it's the same as we written there on top. But you must also understand you have to times these with that numbers there. But that numbers gets converted to its binary or to its hexadecimal equivalent of, of decimal right so in this case here 
you will see that the if is actually 15 right if you look at the d what is the d again remember we said the d a b c d e f right so if e is 14 then the d is 13 right and then e would be what would e be okay i'm asking questions almost like i'm in a class but let me just show you so e is 14 right d is 13 and f is 15 right okay so e is 14 right there we have it so now you know that if you have those numbers already figured out that you then put into your allocation on the next step which would be here where i'm pointing the arrow so here you work out in this step here that you obviously have to put it in notation where it's supposed to be so here you can see one is still being used there nine is still being used there f is still being used there d but this is just showing how you write it out then you have to replace those numbers so you have to replace use another color you have to replace your f you have to replace your d you have to replace your e because those have to become these numbers here as you see at the bottom right and because you have to replace that you have to put in 15 d 13 d and 14 and then you do your normal calculation right so you would say one times 16 remember it's the foot so one is it's the fifth fifth number in the position remember you look at the position one times 16 to the power of four which gives you that number nine times 16 to the power of three gives you that number 15 times 16 to the power of two gives you that number now you could also just do the the, the, the work it out separately but you have to remember that you have to times that and when you times thir 13 to the power of 16 to the um, 16 of 1 you get an answer 14 times 6 to the power of 0 you get an answer then when you get that answers there you add it all up only after you do the calculation as I'm going through here now then you add all the numbers together as you can see here and you can see also the notation is that it's decimal then when you write it out it's obviously that number you add all that up together then you'll get 10,000 no that's not 10,000 yeah, it's 10,000. 10,000. Now I'm lying. 106,462. Because there was a 10 there. Right. So that is that is your answer. Right. And to convert that back to the exadecimal, I'll have to explain that to you in the next video. Right. If you have to convert it back. Could be the same steps, but you would do the other way around. Right. So that's how you work it out. Um, it looks complicated. It looks complex. But... Um, that's just basically how you have to convert um, from decimal to hexadecimal. That's how the computer sees things. Because a computer converts that from hexadecimal to decimal. Then from, decim from, from um, decimal that gets converted to binary. And that's how things get sent across the network. And obviously how the computers think. Right? So I hope that explains to you really the calculation from that. And if you struggle you can always ask me um, or send me an email. Thank you.